Hi, this is Greg Weeks for Sprint 7. Uh, so let me just show you what I have thus far. Uh, so as for things that I fixed from last week, um, I've implemented all the explosions, or like death animations for all of the critters that need them. Uh, so as you just saw, the spider is working pretty much as expected there. Um, yeah, and the centipede explosions are working as well. Splitting is kind of working with the centipede. Um, it's not fully functional yet because uh, the body segments don't exactly follow as they're supposed to, but it's functional. The heads won't run off of the screen. This is very annoying. Um, and if I destroy this last head segment here, um, we're actually in state number two right now, so I've spawned a, uh, a solo head and uh, four centipedes, and the, uh, the scorpion there is, is working the way he's supposed to. So let me just pause this. Uh, there we go. So yeah, so in my document here for um, for wave one, you can see the scorpion was not supposed to spawn, and he didn't. The flea was not supposed to spawn, and he didn't. Uh, so in wave two, the scorpion was supposed to spawn after 10 seconds, and that's exactly what he did. Uh, so four segments, number of solo heads is one. Um, so yeah, let me see if I can get the flea to spawn real quick. So if I destroy one of these mushrooms, and my total count is less than 50, then he's going to spawn in. And he's going to keep doing that until the count is more than 50. Um, and he has the proper explosions on him as well. Um, okay. And the score was updating the whole time. So, yeah, there we go. So the, the waves are working um, essentially as they should be. Um, I'm pretty sure these are all the variables that we're supposed to have um, in terms of what's supposed to be in this document. Um, I added the shroom bag size to the, uh, the flea so that he drops uh, a different amount of mushrooms each time. Um, I'm not sure if that's relevant, but whatever. Um, so from last week, I fixed... Um, like decoupling the HUD from the game manager because I had a lot of uh, heads up display functions in the game manager and I just kind of separated them. Um, the game manager, this is all working very nicely. It looks very clean. Um, so I'm processing the private process current wave is essentially was controlling the wave manager. Um, so this wave manager, I clean this up a little bit. It still looks kind of ugly, um, but it makes a little bit more sense now. Um, and I, I cleaned up the layout of, uh, of all the waves. Um, yeah, so I'm sure you noticed that I didn't get around to, uh, regenerating the mushrooms or, like, uh, working with the player death. So those are the two things that I didn't get to this week, but the wave system is working pretty much the way that I want it to right now. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going through all the critters in the waves and getting their information. And then this is just, um going through uh, the spawners for each critter that I have uh, that I've painstakingly made for all of them. Um, the explosions actually took a really long time as well. I have a bunch of those. Um, yeah, so I do have spawners for each and every one, which is controlling sort of the data that I'm getting from this. So everything is coupled the way that I want it to be. Um, and yeah, uh, I was getting a couple of DQ errors uh, before. Um, didn't show up this time, but that's also something that I definitely need to fix for later. And that's about it for the sprint.